Hey guys, I want to talk through a case that I had today, um, a quadrant of recurrent decay around large existing and failing posterior composites. This is something I see very often and I dread removing these and replacing them with additional direct resins because the same thing is just bound to happen. And, and so here I'm just removing gross caries removal and removing all the old restorations and you know, the carries go quite subgingival in a lot of areas. Um, I'm gonna refresh the rubber dam here after gross carries removal and get everything super sealed because I'm gonna do some flowable composite bases. And you could think of these as just filling undercuts and things like that. Refine my preps, scan everything in after some cord packing. And I'm gonna go ahead and mark these margins in ExoCAD here and design some inlays. Um, these are meant to be printed because they're going to be printed in about 10 minutes for all three of these. And then we're going to reestablish isolation and try them in and make sure they fit good. And then selective etch technique, adhesive, and I'm using a um, adhesive universal from Ivoclar. I like cure only cement called Verilink um, Aesthetic LC. So you see we have amazing results, much better than my direct resins would be and more predictable in my hands.